The UK's Information Commission has fined Facebook for failing to protect its users' data in connection with the Cambridge Analytica scandal. On the day the fine was announced, Apple CEO Tim Cook gave a damning speech at the European Parliament in which he said that personal information is being weaponised by tech giants. Every day, billions of dollars change hands and countless decisions are made on the basis of our likes and dislikes, our friends and families, our relationships and conversations, our wishes and fears, our hopes and dreams. These scraps of data, each one harmless enough on its own, are carefully assembled, synthesized, traded and sold. OK, well, let's uh, get more information now from Anastasia Chalkin as she joins us from our London bureau. Good afternoon, Anastasia. Um, we were listening to Tim Cook's words there. You'd think that would hit a, a raw nerve, wouldn't you, at Facebook? Well, uh, indeed, uh, Cook didn't really name any names there, but of course, Facebook is one of those tech giants whose integrity has been coming into the spotlight repeatedly. And in this uh, latest incident that we're seeing unravel, we know that the UK's Information Commissioner's Office, the ICO, which is uh, 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 the country's um, independent data uh, regulator, da data protection watchdog, rather, has fined Facebook with uh, 500,000 pounds or 640 $4,000 for the role that Facebook played in the Cambridge Analytica scandal, specifically failing to protect its users from their data being gathered when, if you remember, an app that uh, just over 300,000 people had downloaded ended up gathering data of 87 million users. Some of that information was uh, uh, said to have been passed to Cambridge Analytica that later used that information to uh, target uh, politically people ahead of the U.S. presidential election. And the ICO said one million of those people were in the UK and the ICO said that Facebook had done this without clear consent. Between 2007 and 2014, Facebook processed the personal information of users unfairly by allowing application developers access to their information without sufficiently clear and informed consent and allowing access even if users had not downloaded the app but were simply friends with people who had. Well, Facebook have said that they're reviewing this decision, uh, but should have done more at the time. While we respectfully disagree with some of their findings, we have said before that we should have done more to investigate claims about Cambridge Analytica and taken action in 2015. Well, uh, to be clear, this 500,000 uh, uh, pound fine is the maximum possible applicable fine uh, uh, applied under previous regulation, which had to be used in this particular case. But it's being said that this fine could have been much higher given the new regulation that has been in place since May 2018, which would have meant a 17 million pound fine or 4% uh, of uh, Facebook's global uh, turnover. And indeed, this number could also uh, could have also been much higher given uh, the fact that uh, just in 2017 Facebook's annual revenue was uh, 40.7 billion dollars.